Folks, I'm talking with Joe, uh, talking about the game, uh, the game we were around, Epic Mickey, uh, Disney's Epic Mickey. Uh, now, when this was announced, uh, of course, Warren Spector was attached to this. Now, Warren Spector has gone on uh, on record multiple times, including in the keynote for PAX itself, talking about how much he loves uh, Disney animation uh, and kind of how much uh, you know, how much he's totally nerded out on the project. Now, how much impact uh, did, did Warren Spector have on this on this particular project uh, when it comes to the design of the, the uh, of the the areas and and and, and what to include and what not to include, like, like how how hands-on was he? Uh, extremely hands-on, uh, especially being an environmental artist for uh, uh, Disney Epic Mickey. Warren is there every step of the way. Uh, the man knows years and years. It's just an encyclopedia of Disney knowledge. It was really just amazing having him, having his input on you know a minute by minute basis. So amazing. Now the, the the original art that we saw uh, when it was first announced had a very kind of a very very dark kind of steampunky vibe to it, and it, it, it seems as if although very very dark uh, still, uh, the art style seems to have softened a bit uh, and become a bit more rounded. Uh, why why do you th why was that? Well, just like every game, every game that goes through a bunch of iterations, and we're truly trying to find something that stays true to Disney. And so, every, like just like every game, it goes through a bunch of little phases. And this is the one we chose to use really, I think, really capitalize on what Disney Epic Mickey is. Uh, this game now. This game is split between two different forms of uh, of the gameplay. Uh, the first is the three D uh, the three D uh, platforming, and the second is the two D platforming uh, that goes between levels. Uh, how how even is that split? Where do we see two D platforming, and, and and kind of when does it come up? Well, two D platforming is uh, in between three uh, D levels. It's our transition. Uh, we like to think of it just something to really break up the space, something nice and light and refreshing, and really just fun and really, really, really Disney to look at. Really. What are what are some of the, the you know what are some of the levels that uh, you've been particularly interested in that like you seeing yourself have gone like wow that's pretty cool. Uh, one we have today, uh, Mickey Beanstalk. Yeah. I love looking at that level. I love it. I, I love looking at the cartoon and just seeing it come into the game, and it's so fitting. It's so matches. Uh, now we've got you've got two different uh, uh, forms of interacting with your environment: uh, the creation uh, in the uh, the paint and uh, the destruction in paint thinner. Uh, now it's pretty obvious how you use paint thinner. Like you, you use it to destroy stuff. There's pretty much one way to use paint thinner. But that, as far as the paint, I mean, where you know where do where where should you create? It, how, like how how was it uh, when it comes to designing? Like. How was it uh, uh, to create areas where the audience knows that you can create stuff here? Well, one, thinning is not always about destruction. Thinning it can be for other tools and devices. It's uh, just like an artistic tool. You're going to start to move things around. It can be a way of uh, actually manipulating the world in a different way. Uh, as for painting, and painting back in the world, uh, that was great fun. You could take both sides of things and start to make them into the you know, uh, beautiful side of a building and hide things and hide little secret items and you know, <laughs> secret passageways. And it was actually quite fun. All right, cool. Cool. And uh, when uh, when should we expect this on store shelves? Sometime in Q4. 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 All right, folks. Uh, Disney's Epic Mickey uh, sometime out uh, in, in quarter four. Uh, stay tuned.